So, I wanted to do a reaction to the interview of Tucker Carlson for, um, he was doing an interview of Larry Sinclair, and I just wanted to specifically react to it, because, uh, personally for me, you know, um, I felt like, you know, I, I watched the whole interview and I wasn't able to react as quickly as I wanted to because I, uh, my phone broke so I had to, uh, wait and it's nice. I mean, like, this phone is a lot better. It actually captures me a lot better, I think, because I've had plenty of time where people would say my skin uh, looked washed out and here I feel like I don't really feel I look washed out. I think this is an appropriate color for me for the summertime, you know. But um, anyway, um, my whole point in this video is specifically, I want to react to um, the interview of Larry Sinclair because I feel like that was specifically a uh, a pretty interesting interview. I personally um, would say I've heard liberals and how they specifically doubted the um, authenticity of Larry Sinclair. I personally feel like this. I've seen specifically the lie detector test and for one, why is there only one question? And it specifically is addressing did he see Barack Obama smoking crack cocaine and it said um, a negative seven which is s below the range basically because to be a lie you have to score point four I mean negative four or lower and he scored negative seven but I don't see any other parts of the uh, questioning or questionnaire for the lie detector test. Are you saying that he had sex with him and he passed that part, but not the other part? Like, that's my issue is why is there only one question? Um, and also, it's a very specific question, so I'm like, well, what if he was smoking another drug? What if they were smoking meth, but he didn't want to admit he was smoking meth? I mean, it could be anything, you know, but, you know, that wouldn't really change the fact that there was an encounter and somebody got high and they were doing drugs and sexually involved, you know. To me, honestly, it is more concerning the drug use, really, than, you know, specifically the, um, the sex, in my opinion, because... Whether he's gay or not would not really pertain to him as being our former president and the functionality of his position as president. But I do think that um, him being gay would affect um, his vote when he was being voted in. If he, they would have known that he was gay. If they would have known that he was cheating on his wife, things of that nature would have um, got got pretty much a lot of his voting block removed and McCain probably would have been president. And for me, honestly, I am happy that McCain wasn't president because, I mean, that would have been a terrible message to the Republican Party that they could continue to have crap candidates run, you know? that nobody wanted on the right. I mean, at least I didn't. And I couldn't vote at the time, but I mean, like, I sent my message with Romney. I mean, like, I didn't vote for Romney because, yeah, he was a crap candidate too. Um, but my whole point is in this is that specifically, um, I personally do not think that, um, I don't think that the fact that he failed a polygraph test, that that means it's not true. I think that the uh, fact that he failed one question 
may mean that the way it's worded may have gone wrong. If he didn't fail the rest of it, and it doesn't seem anyone is bringing out all the other questions, he would have failed if it was all a tale, you know. Um, that's my opinion on some people who are specifically saying, oh, it's, it's a whole lie and everything. Well, it's only one question that was brought up that was supposedly seen to be maybe possibly mendacious, but not the whole questionnaire, which means part of what he's saying is true, which means Obama's at least gay and cheats on his wife, probably also is still getting high. Um, and I think it's about the crack use is, you know, he was always open about using crack. It's just that he tried to say that he would, he only used it when he was in, in college or as a kid, which isn't true. Um, so to me, like, that's more concerning because, you know, it's a shame that we probably had a president, crack addicted president, who was our first black president as well really bad you know and i mean like for people who want to make that movement and idea that he was a biracial president maybe that's not a so bad of an idea for black people because i mean the first black president being a crackhead is not very um beneficial to black people obviously <laughs> makes us look really really bad but um that's all i have to say in this video thanks for watching everyone like and subscribe Comment down below. Have a great day. Bye, guys.